turn around, you look, and you shoot. It may be the middle of summer, but that doesn't mean that the hockey sticks have to stay in the closet. This summer, the Fort Worth Brahmas have become the blacktop Brahmas and are helping kids learn about the game of hockey. It's a little different. The skating techniques are pretty much the same. Um, stopping and turning is a, is a little different, but uh, again, we're not going full speed out here and we don't, we're not getting body checked in any boards and all like that. With our um, kind of push to make sure that we continue to have hockey through the months of June, July, and August to keep people interested in the sport and to expose kids to the sport, to have the players out here uh, teaching the clinics, I think gives these players a real good boost. And I'll tell you, to have 25 and 30 kids out in 80 or 90 or even 100 degree weather shows that uh, hockey is a viable sport in this area. On three, go Brahmas. Okay, one, two, three. Go Brahmas! All right. And while some of these players may not enjoy the Texas summer heat, they all enjoy sharing their love for hockey with these young players. Each year is just amazing how many kids are showing up. And uh, the level, too, I mean, it's, you know, from 3 to 14, 15 years old, and it's just all the kids are having fun, and we are, too. I think it's great. I mean, uh, obviously, our team's made a solid commitment to kind of doing things for the community, and specifically the youth of the community. And I think, you know, to be able to maintain kind of a hockey presence throughout these dreadful months of June, July, and August with the heat is tremendous. All right, good shot. And the kids, well, they look like they're having a pretty good time as well. What do you think these Brahmas are? What do you think? Cool. Yeah, they could have chilled out in the pool all day, but they decided to come over here and sweat. What do you think? Oh, I think she loved it. I think we're going to have to be going to the next Brahma's Blacktop. Dave Scallon, Channel 8 Sports in Fort Worth. Go Sports is sponsored by North Toyota Dealer. Quality, dependability, value. It sounds strange to even say it's street hockey. It does sound strange, and it's uh, very hot in the summer, but it's the thing to do, definitely. It's definitely getting more and more popular. For the third year in a row, the Fort Worth Brahmas are lacing up their skates and taking their skills to the streets, where hockey is at its coolest this summer. Dave Scallon has the story. Turn around, you look, and you shoot. It may be the middle of summer, but that doesn't mean that the hockey sticks have to stay in the closet. This summer, the Fort Worth Brahmas have become the blacktop Brahmas and are helping kids learn about the game of hockey. It's a little different. The skating techniques are pretty much the same. Um, stopping and turning is a, is a little different, but uh, again, we're not going full speed out here and we don't, we're not getting body checked in any boards and all like that. With our um, kind of push to make sure that we continue to have hockey through the months of June, July, and August to keep people interested in the sport and to expose kids to the sport, to have the players out here uh, teaching the clinics, I think gives these players a real good boost. And I'll tell you, to have 25 and 30 kids out in 80 or 90 or even 100 degree weather shows that uh, hockey is a viable okay. sport in this area. On three, go Brahmas. Okay, one, two, three. Go, go Brahmas! All right. And while some of these players may not enjoy the Texas summer heat, they all enjoy sharing their love for hockey with these young players. Each year is just amazing how many kids are showing up and uh, the level too, I mean, it's, you know, from three to 14, 15 years old and it's just all the kids are having fun and we are too. I think it's great. I mean, uh, obviously our team's made a solid commitment to kind of doing things for the community and specifically the youth of the community. And I think, you know, to be able to maintain kind of a hockey presence throughout these dreadful months of June, July and August with the heat is tremendous. All right, good shot. And the kids, well, they look like they're having a pretty good time as well. What do you think these Brahmas are? What do you think? Cool. Yeah, they could have chilled out in the pool all day, but they decided to come over here and sweat. What do you think? Oh, I think she loved it. I think we're going to have to be going to the next Brahma's Blacktop. Dave Scallon, Channel 8 Sports in Fort Worth. Go and we will be live at the ballpark at 6. All right, good deal. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching News 8 at 5. We'll see you again tonight at 6 o'clock. Channel 8 congratulates. Well, uh, how have they performed in the past two weeks? I don't know, they beat the Panthers, and they're, uh, they're not very good. You like Snyder, Daniel Snyder, the owners spending all the money? No, that's kind of ridiculous. I'm not about spending all that kind of money. Get good players. I thought you could buy a Super Bowl. Do what? You can't buy a Super Bowl? No. Sure you oh, can. yeah, you can. Yeah, you well, definitely can, but you shouldn't be. Florida Marlins about the World 
Series three years ago, and they. Let me let us about Dion. I hate Dion. I couldn't stand him when he was. I think he should be playing baseball. I said I think he should be playing baseball. No, I hate him. <laughs> I think he's a punk. He complains about turf day. I can't play. It's preseason. Nine two. Exactly. There he's you go. He's coming after you. He's coming after you. <laughs> I just met these kids. <laughs> Melanie Francis, Columbia, South Carolina. Thanks. Overrated. Alright. What do you think? So, what do you think about the Redskins? Overrated. Yeah. Overpaid. Totally out of Low league. up. Low up. Watch behind you. I can't reach it all. No. Why? Oh, I don't think you can buy a Super Bowl. I think you gotta you gotta have a combination of talent and uh, the will to win. And I don't think they have the will to win. I think they got the talent, but I don't think it's all there. You got Dion. It's not a pay too much money. Uh, I don't think Dion's all that. He's overrated. He's washed out. <laughs> What's your name? Zach Powers. Thank you. 
My name is Mike. That's one. T E T U A N. Uh, well, I live here in DC now, from Pennsylvania. So uh, tell me about Snyder trying to buy a Super Bowl here. Well, uh, he did spend the money, but unfortunately, the, the uh, team isn't performing uh, how he expected them. He spent a lot of money on defense and a lot of money to bring the players in, but as far as special teams and a lot of the uh, intangibles, he really didn't invest in. But he's got Dion. He's got Dion, and you know. Dion, you know, for the best, he's been playing for a long time. I don't know, he might have lost his stuff. I say, you know, stick with what you got. You know, if he had, he had a great secondary without Dion, or a great uh, secondary without Dion, in my opinion. Snyder alienating about the fans? No, I don't think he's alienating a lot of fans at all. I, I think that he's actually brought more fans to the Redskins. Um, so a lot of people, that, you know, surrounding the city before the season started, all you hear was the Redskins, Redskins, Redskins. And, that, and you know, brought a lot of... Uh, because that's the team, and unfortunately, uh, so far they're having a tough year, but you know, they're, they're still do, they're doing all right. You know, there's still a lot more games to play. Uh, really? What do you think about the Cowboys Redskins rivalry right now? 
Cowboys. Go Cowboys. Well, Res Redskins got a good team. Dallas got a good good squad. They got a good squad. Uh, the offense, Randall Cunningham starting. The defense needs to get it together. What do you think about uh, Snyder trying to uh, emulate Jerry Jones here in Washington? I can't say it on TV. <laughs> what happened? What's wrong? Is he trying to buy a Super Bowl? Yeah, exactly what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. He's trying to buy a Super Bowl. I mean, Dallas did good by, by letting Dion go. I mean, he, was, he wasn't doing nothing for us. And he uh, was costing us too much money. That's, that's the next thing I was going to ask you. He's kind of like a salary cut for us, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, if you look at his contract with the Redskins, he's going to be there for maybe two years. Because on the third year, I mean, it's like, what, $9 million a year? I mean, Who's going to keep somebody for not making out of here? Randall Cunningham. Uh, I mean, Roger, Troy can't play. Uh, what do you think about that situation? All the concussions. Well, I think Aikman. Honestly, I think Aikman should retire. And Jerry Jones needs to go out and get Glenn Foley, you know, to be a backup to Randall Cunningham. Every team Randall's been with since he's come out of retirement, the Vikings, you know, what the Vikings did two years ago. You know, Randall, Randall, Randall had that offense going real good. Sunday night. So who wins uh, Monday night? I'm going to say Dallas. Yeah, because you're a homer. Yeah, I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say Dallas. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm gonna see this. Sure, we'll send her a copy. Send her a copy. Tell me about Daniel Snyder. Daniel Snyder, he's a he's a good businessman. Yeah. He's an excellent businessman, but a, a terrible football owner. Oh, a terrible yeah. football team owner. He doesn't make decisions right. He thinks just because he can buy old players that he can win Super Bowls, and that's not true. I like this guy. What's your name? Michael Boston. Boston? Where are you from? He's here? like the city. No, I'm from Massachusetts. Oh really? Cool. Yep. So who you got your money on? Um it's going to be Buffalo, Tampa Bay, and the Super Bowl. I got my money on Buffalo. All right. Well, hey, what about Monday night? Dallas. So you guys, so Redskins have, have uh, Dion now, though. He has turf toe. He's had turf toe for three years. He's injured. <laughs> Still injured. They call him nine toes in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he can grab ten here. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you think about Monday night? Cowboys and Dallas? Not doing too good, but you know, Redskins a big rivalry. Yeah. We can do it. So what does that mean? It just means Cowboys are gonna kick their butt. Oh, okay. <laughs> can I say that? Sure, sure. What? Yeah, you know, the Redskins think they they can buy a Super Bowl though. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. You don't think so? Why? They have Dion now, but he's not everything. <laughs> What's your name? Gainer. Huey. What's, Gainer Huey. Yeah. How you spell Gainer? G A Y N O R. All right, thanks. <laughs> That's right. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, Louisville. Okay. Yeah. Name? Bobby Cooper. Okay. What do you think about the Redskins? I hate the Redskins. They can't buy a Super Bowl. <laughs> Spend too much money. Players are getting hurt. It's a rivalry. Anybody can win. Cowboys have been great. I think it what was it 92. Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Redskins still beat them. This is the Cowboys Super Bowl. <laughs> They'll beat the Redskins. I'm friend by 50. 
50. Cowboys by 50, baby. So what is that? What are you drinking? That'd be Coors Light. <laughs> Fantastic. It makes the Cowboys look even better this year. <laughs>